Just doing that to prove a point that you never should. Hey everybody, welcome to Attack of the Show. We are TV oh, Police Source. That died out quick. Come on, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Why does it feel like Monday? So, so, so bad. What happened yesterday? So if this show's gonna rock, you watch. Energy. This is Olivia Munn, ladies and gentlemen. You watch yourself. I'm just Trevor Ferrara. It's Tuesday, February 26th. We're coming to you live from the G4 Studios in Los Angeles because pre-taping is for what? Anything there? No. Okay. We had a lot of good stuff in the show. That was Exhibit A. <laughs> time for the business at hand, though. <laughs> We're running on the top five things on the web at this exact moment. It's time to go around the net. <laughs> hey, hang on. There we go. We're on a champion. Of it, don't worry. We're starting off the show today with with death. Actually, it's mm -hmm. a subject that you know Don Knotts and Ike Turner they know intimately. So, oh, oh what too soon? soon? No, it's it was just enough time has passed. Yeah. Now the world over, funerals are a time to celebrate life and lay loved ones to eternal rest. But unfortunately, as our number five video proves, even death sometimes doesn't go as planned. No. <laughs> You know what? Oh. Look, I get you're like a third world country or something like that. Don't wear denim to a funeral. What? There's no. Wait, what if that's their what that that's their version of? Dockers? Get some get get some khakis. You want to get Class khakis? it up is uh -huh. all I'm saying. And what was that chick demanding a banana? Did you notice? Did you catch that? No banana. It, let's wa let, watch. Watch it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I understand the need for a banana, but you don't have to be fanatical about it. Why? Well, uh, why ask well, at a funeral? Uh, well, cl clearly, Kevin, you don't know. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you? We've discussed this before. Now, St. Petersburg is Russia's banana capital of the world. A banana okay. used to be considered exotic during the Cold War, but now they've gone so far as to nickname them the People's Fruit. She's just using her love for her country to get her through a tragic event. I did not know we had that conversation before, but okay, I, I noted, and thank Many you. Many times. Thank you. You're like a Wikipedia with hair and teeth, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks. And boobs. Coming in at number four. Are... You can touch them. I did. You can touch yours. <laughs> okay, number four. Very exciting. Our esteemed colleague, Zach Selwyn, is in a new music video that yes. he posted yesterday. Yes. Here's the deal. Like, anyone that's been to an airport knows that the TSA, or... <sighs> Is, is pretty much a joke. Uh, they're highly concerned with shampoo and shoe bombs, and airport security doesn't usually employ James Bond types, mm -mm. right? It's normally like the McDrive Through type guys yeah. that are checking your luggage. Well, now Zach has actually joined the force as the TSA gangsta. TSA gangsters up in this aeropuerto. You can't be bringing that on a plane no more, mother. Don't we confiscate your liquids because you know they pose a threat. I'll even confiscate your. If I make it too wet Damn, I hate to see that breast milk go to waste But you can come right through if you give me a taste I'm gonna need $50 if you know what I mean I saw your big ass dildo in my x-ray machine Mother take them shoes off before you come stepping Yo, I think this iPhone could be used as a weapon I'm taking mail, buckle, money, clip, coin, keys, wallet, purse Put some D's off and run it through Money, 
He needs like a soldier boy, like a, the X ray thing right. or something. You have to do that. Yeah, you know. TSA's gates on belt, buckle, money, clip, now available through MySpace and iTunes. But you will have to enjoy it at home since the TSA has apparently a habit of randomly forbidding laptops and iPods to pass their security. Yeah, yeah. It's actually also on YouTube mm -hmm. as well. And Zach wants you guys to post a video response with your own TSA story. So get to it. Dun, dun, dun. Coming in at number three you today. You have a great TSA story, by the way. Check out Kevin's blog, KevinPereira.com. Yeah. By the way, if you have trouble getting like three, like more than three ounces of gel, like if you have like a pomade yeah. or something like that you need to get through, just scrape off the amount uh, of, you know, it says it on the label. That's what they go by. They can't measure the liquid yeah. or gel. Just scrape it off the container. No, I know. Because they'll look at it like a monkey with a Rubik's Cube for 15 minutes, and then they'll just pass it through. Yeah, so what happens, <laughs> you go to like a Rite Aid or a CVS, and they have those like clear plastic bottles. Yeah, yeah. You get yourself a label maker. I, I'm not kidding. You, you put on 3.4 yeah. fluid ounces. They're like, no, okay, yeah, right? 3.4. There you go. It's Idiot. Like, if you have a printer at home, you too can like, end around the I PSA. Agree. I appreciate that they're trying to save us, but come on. Yeah. You know, sometimes, like with you, with your swab, you're like, my swab's <laughs> going to blow up the plane. Homeland Security is going to repel from the roof and stab us both in the throat in about okay. five Apparently seconds. Let's the, move it on. The Fairfield Police Department hates me. Now LAX does Oh, it. come on. Coming it's in true. at number three today uh, is the glorious end of a, a comedy trend. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, first, we had Sarah Silverman's music video about gaining biblical knowledge of Matt Damon. Then, just yesterday, we saw Jimmy Kimmel singing about the joys of swapping DNA with Ben Affleck. Yeah, now we get Elizabeth Banks' reluctant ode to horizontal folk dancing with one Mr. Seth Rogen. This was actually filmed on the set of their new movie, Kevin and Smith, uh, or Kevin Smith's movies. Uh, it's Zach and Mary make a porno. I'm Seth Rogen. She is Seth Rogen. Had to get to the top. I'm face. Maria, but no, but yeah, shoot my on her tummy. I lick it up, cause it's yummy. I'm Seth Rogen. She's Seth Rogen. I gotta do it every day. Yeah. I'm Seth Rogen. She's Seth Rogen. He's got a weird looking. Looks like an otter. Hey, thanks. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just got a call from the lab and all shot last week. Somebody spilled Red Bull on it. Not up. So we're gonna have to reshoot everything, including the scene where you're Seth Rogen with with a strap on. Awesome. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a good video. I, I realized that Hollywood has done so incestuous. I mean, it seems like all the stars are sleeping with each other. It's just not clean. It's traditionally what royalty does. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Is that why I was knighted last night? That's it. Wasn't a sword. Oh man. Just a little... A little tap, tap, and we're so both a little, little regal this morning, yeah, you know You're welcome I mean? for that. Thank you. And at number two today is yet another example of mainstream America stealing ideas from the subculture. Look, dancing alongside an empty moving car, or ghost riding the whip, uh, started in, in the neighborhoods of Oakland in California just a few years ago. But now the nerds have their hands on it. They've actually made some slight changes just to make it their own. That's right. The music's the same. Yep. The dancing's the same. Mm -hmm. The attitude, the same. Absolutely. But the cars? bit different. I want to hang out with them and buy them all beers. Yeah. Like, because a lot could have gone wrong with that with the DeLorean. Yeah. And, and um, they did it. Be friends with all of those guys. Yes. Well, except for that one guy, right? Well, yeah, except for the one guy. Yeah. But heads up, East Oakland Projects, you're on notice. Yeah. Because you just got served DeLorean style. What? <laughs> yes, they did. Yes. You're supposed to say no, you didn't, but it's all right. No, you didn't. Yes, they did. No, you didn't! Finally, coming in at number one today is a shining example of viral videos gone right. Okay, let's say you're the head of VeriSign. Okay, I'm the head of VeriSign. <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah! This guy! Right here, it's me! It was me! Uh -huh. Man! That's what I do! Talk to the people at home. Put food All right, on the table. talk to the people at home. Okay, talk to them. So say you're the head of VeriSign. 
A company that verifies <laughs> a company that verifies online commercial transactions to prevent identity theft. Let's say you at home Aww. want to prevent people from getting spooked about buying something from a website, filling up their online shopping cart only to get scared and close out the browser. Well, you could start an advertising campaign mm -hmm. for Verisign touting the security, yeah. or you can make a flashy website to explain your product, or you could be awesome and make this. I don't know what it is in a person. Makes him just hop and abandon a perfectly good shopping cart. Now, see, the key is you gotta talk to them in their own language. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. People say to me, well, how, How'd you learn to do that? How'd you learn to talk to them like that? Come on, you can't stay in there. Can't live in there forever. You gotta go. Get on out. Come on, girl. Look at that. Yeah. Go on, girl. That That's one of my favorite videos in a long while. That man is so talented. He's really good. It's like the Onion News. They did that so well. Look, you know, the internet belches out a lot of filth. Mm -hmm. We have to sort through it all because we love you. So it is really rewarding when we find a great internet video like that. Yeah, internets. Are you really going to let like an honest to God Madison Avenue budgeted ad campaign show you up like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, rise up. Yeah, seriously, get your video camera. Start making some gold. That's right. That guy was amazing. We should have him on. We, I want him on. I want to become great. talking to shopping carts in my area. <laughs> okay. To get your daily viral fix, make sure to head on over to g4tv.com slash around the net. And there you can also sign up for the around the net podcast. Uh, Apparently it's the top 10 for iTunes it's, downloads. It's the biggest deal. We crash the iTunes servers daily. Do you know that there are top 10 iTunes downloads and we are in 20% of it? What? Attack of the show and around the net. There you go. That's oh, how freaking cool we are. And don't forget, tonight's 10 o'clock show actually yes. features our new ATN, that's Around the Net, mm -hmm. after hours segment with videos exclusive to our late night airing tonight. What were the odds? You're going to see a hot girl stripping on her webcam. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I'm tuning in. More cool videos on. Uh, that sounds really cool to me. I know why. Now, we get sent all kinds of crazy uh -huh. gadgets that we sometimes don't know what to do with. Mm -hmm. But not these. No, these are oral sex lights. Yeah. We know exactly what to do with these. Now, you guys saw the other day we, we had a stuffed bear on. It is a real stuffed bear. We, we rented it, but we had to have him for a week because we paid for him. So the producers are forcing us to use him in every show to get our money's worth. We thought, you know, he was harmless. No, it's a stuffed bear. But I gotta tell you, it's starting to creep us out a little bit. Yeah, take a look at what this bear has been up to. I mean, here he is, first of all, longingly yeah. admiring a picture of us, which is fine. Yeah, what's he wearing? Got, it's the G string, the grizzly string. Oh, God. You know what I mean? That's not cool. Uh, I, I'm also pretty sure, uh, I don't have a uh, verified proof, but mm -hmm. that he also peed on my desk to prove he owns me. Oh, no, that was me. That was, that was you? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Well, check out the snapshot of the bear giving some guy in the office a oh, lap dance. Like, that's not God. right. That's not Wait, cool. Wait, I shared a sandwich with that guy at lunch today. Uh, that is disgusting. Wow. Did that you, is inappropriate. Did he smell like that? Well, there's a dollar in it. Yeah, it's classy. Holy Finally, crap. and I, I don't know if this is our executive oh. producer's office, but that bear. Oh. Now, the bear's a long way from the stream, but he still knows how to find the fish. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, that That wasn't worth a bell. I wanted a bell. We'll discuss the bell later. We've come up with something. I'm right. not going to give you a bell for that. We're, Fine. We have to be strong with the bell. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so anyway, later in the show, we are giving the bear a thorough examination using the oral sex lights and a couple of night vision video cameras. And maybe the staff might have to get some tetanus shots. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, right now it's time for the only news you need to know. Here's Kristen Holt and the feed headlines. Thanks, guys. Here's what's coming up in the feed. First, Apple has announced updates to some of their laptops, and we'll find out if early adopters get the shaft again. Plus, starting tonight, things are really going to get buzzing over at Yahoo, and we've got news in fours today. We'll talk about the next Terminator and Bourne films. It's all coming your way in just a few minutes, but first, back to you guys. It is a proud day for the internet. That's hey, everybody. Apple's not the only one making announcements today. Yahoo's got something that everyone is buzzing about. Oh. Plus, Blair Butler's at WonderCon, and she gets the latest Mulder and Scully gossip. And then, digital tattoos, supposedly the new thing. Find out the details and attack this. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back.
Customers bored or just incredibly jaded? Find out in 60 seconds. Oh. What happened to all that excitement and wonder gamers used to feel? E3 and TGS were both kind of a letdown with no big wow announcements or wow games. Now, there's only two parties we could blame for this. Us, the gamers, or them, the industry. I mean, has the industry become just too scared to take any chances on something new that might impress us? Or have we become too jaded to enjoy what we already have? I say we're both responsible. I mean, you'd rather spend your 50 bucks on a sequel you know will be decent than an unknown game that could be crap. I understand. Now, the studio feels the same way with the millions they spend on making that game. So we should be a little more understanding and once in a while take a chance on that unknown game. I'm Morgan, and that's been a minute. <laughs> If you dig this, then you dub this, cause I'm all about the nerd life, word life. If you dig this, then you dub this, cause I'm all about the nerd life, word life. If you dig this, then you dub this, cause I'm all about the nerd life, word life. If you dig this, then you dub this, cause I'm all about the nerd life, word life, yeah. G4X play, Whitey Cracker. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Let's get to it. Apple announced that new models of the MacBook and the MacBook Pro are on the way. Both will have new, faster processors, more storage, and faster graphics. And the MacBook Pro will now have the same multi-touch trackpad that the MacBook Air sports. Also, word comes today that Apple's iTunes Music Store now has 50 million customers and has sold over 4 billion songs, edging out Best Buy and Target to become the second largest U.S. music store behind retail behemoth Walmart. If you're looking to catch a buzz, then look no further than Yahoo. Yahoo Buzz launched today, and it's their version of the popular social news website, Dig. Buzz takes stories from pre-approved publishers and lets users vote on them using a buzz meter to push the most popular ones to the top of the page. Yahoo then combines users' rankings with the search engine trends to determine the buzz of particular stories. Every day, a few of the top articles will be bumped onto the Yahoo main page, giving the story the widest possible audience on the internet. For example, reports suggest that in tests, links to Wired.com received over 2 million unique hits in two hours. Yesterday, the Federal Communications Commission convened a hearing over big broadband providers favoring certain types of data traffic, such as web surfing, as opposed to file sharing using BitTorrent. G4's parent company, Comcast Corporation, had previously admitted to slowing down traffic from torrent sites, and now the FCC is said to be considering new rules and regulations that would require companies to clearly disclose their policies regarding net speed. The rules would enforce the Commission's current principles intended to promote net neutrality. The robot apocalypse finally has a date, May 22nd, 2009. That's the release date for Terminator Salvation, The Future Begins, starring Christian Bale and produced by McG. The storyline is being kept under wraps, but the plot is part of a planned three-picture arc that begins after Skynet has destroyed much of humanity in a nuclear holocaust, and a group of survivors led by John Connor struggles to stop the machine. But that's not the only good movie news today, because Matt Damon will return as Jason Bourne, and he's bringing back Oscar-nominated director Paul Greengrass. No other details are available about cast or script, but our guess is the title may come from the fourth book, The Bourne Legacy. Well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. Get all the news you need to know anytime, anywhere on your mobile phone. More info available at g4tv.com slash mobile. I'm Kristen Holt, and you've just been fed. Thank you very much, Chris. Sorry, we've just been handed a news bulletin. <laughs> and, uh... Seems that a large portion of the state of Florida is without power. Wow. So, you know what that means? It is time to talk smack about Florida. Thank they you. They can't hear us. Yeah, what are you going to do? They can't hear hey, us. Hey, Florida. Way to screw up an election. Yeah. Seriously, how's that Chad dangling? Is it dangling nice? Yeah. Oh. Why don't you just keep out oh. of 2008? Don't screw oh. this one up. Oh. Florida. Oh. Hey, hey, what are all those seniors? Oh, you're like they're so a, old. You're like an elephant graveyard only, not full of valuable ivory. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, power not today. You know what you heard? Oh, hey, Florida! Hey, Florida! Hey, question! Question for you. So 
Don't you wish you could do this? What? Oh, oh, wow. Requires electricity, Florida. Look at that. Look at that. You, we can do this all day long, baby. Right, do it, do it. That's, oh. Do it again. Just keep doing it. What, Florida? Huh? Huh? Hey, you guys are always chowing down some food on air. I mean, you're blasting batter into your mouth, and just recently you're eating some ranch dress covered greasy fries. Yet you both managed to stay slim and fit. Kevin been joked on air about being able to fit into Olivia Jean, which, Olivia, we know that's not true. But seriously, how do you guys stay in shape? Are you guys eating the same kind of food outside of the show? Okay, first of all, that is true. Kevin says, I can fit you. you can, I wear size 25, 2016, you wear 30. On a good day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I would like to be honest about this. Um, it is, like lately, I've been eating so much. I've had so much pie. You just, she lately, turned into a pie fetish, I, and every day she comes day, in with like armfuls of pie. The other day I had two pieces of pie before dinner, and I had to sneak it off in the other room. I'm, it's bad. <laughs> Did someone beat you if you, no, if you ate dessert I was first? No, <laughs> sounded like battered I rice syndrome. In, I had to sneak my pie in the other room. I was embarrassed that I was eating so much pie, but here's the thing is, <laughs> some people don't know this. Right now, can you see this? My, my jeans are buttoned. Many a time in the show, I wear jeans that are so tight. Yeah, she has to wear I, bicycle shorts if, on if my pie in addition week, to the jeans to suck my, it in. It's my pie really... week, and I will, will sometimes go with my, my jeans unbuttoned, so I'm like, oh, I'm so fat. Can I get a long shirt today? <laughs> I really will. Next time I have that day, which will probably be tomorrow. Yeah, you have to share it with the I'll, audience. I actually won't be here tomorrow, but on Thursday, if my jeans are buttoned. Done. But after today, I had, um, I, I don't know why I'm too hot. Well, anyways, I do, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking. I do Pilates, and then when I have to do something, I, um, I okay. don't eat. <laughs> Great, still ahead on the show, we're going to discuss internet television's question. ability to make the move from network television in the loop. And later, what's coming up? Uh, well, Blair picked up Peloton season up at San Francisco's WonderCon. She'll be here with all the breaking news on the show, including Mulder and Scully's reunion in the x sequel. I'm Thank butting you. your pants. Get comfy. <laughs> Stick around. The Feed is brought to you by the U.S. Navy. Accelerate your life. The first... <laughs> We've been dreading, actually. Let's check in on the bear. That's right. We are suited up with our oral sex life and ready to work. go spelunking. It does work. You motorboat for half right. a second and Can it flies right off your head. Can we get the lights, please? Okay. Lights down. Okay. Night vision on. Hey, Pereira. Hey. There's Connor. my oral cam. What up? Okay. I see the bear. It's yeah. the, the fur's all matted. That's my, that's not my hair. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Bear. Bear. Okay. We got to check the ears. Check okay. behind the ears. So you guys, keep in mind, this is a real life stuffed bear. Okay, what is I this? Kevin over Pereira? Here. Yeah, what? That's what is this? This is this is a Durex medium oh, sized condo. Oh, that, that is, is not. Disgusting. Okay, move not, around to the front. It's a grizzly scene the front, there. Okay, what? <laughs> oh, wait, coming down to the money shot. Can you see? Is that is a beef curtain. Oh, oh no, we have bear beef curtain. Oh, bear beef beef curtain. Beef oh God! Oh! Oh, clap it oh, around! Oh, clap oh, 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 it's all cold and wet. Okay, no, 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 we're done. I gotta wash my hands with some really, really hot water. Sure. Some of that meat is brown looking, a little discolored. All right, well, luckily, while you go get some hot water, Blair Butler is here to relive, relieve gotta, us of a, some of our hosting duties. Right now. Some yeah, churro. Blair, Blair! Please? Blair, do you have wow. a pie? There is nothing I like more than following uh, an incandescent night vision bear crotch. <gasps> anyway, convention season is officially here, and uh, I ran to greet it with open arms, or like a bear growling. Uh, I took a jaunt up to San Francisco last weekend to get the truth about the X-Files and see the fans mingle with the stars. Here's my WonderCon Road Report, brought to you by Kia. <laughs> Move along. Miles of posters, millions of comics, thousands of fans. I am in San Francisco for WonderCon 2008. Let's go down and hit the floor. It's 
similar in a way to our sister show Comic Con in San Diego, except it's a more intimate environment. So you may see some of the, the same stars in terms of comics and movies and television, but in a lot less crowded environment. Batman, what brings you to WonderCon? It's the only time of the year I can uh, dress up as Batman and then we'll laugh. <laughs> Comic-Con's large crowds make it hard for fans to meet their idols, but WonderCon sets itself apart. WonderCon is one of the best shows in North America. If you were to poll creators, it's their favorite show, because it's not that zoo that San Diego is. One of the big draws at WonderCon is getting the lowdown on upcoming movies from the celebs themselves. So what's it like being at WonderCon, where there's this rabid X-Files fan base? Interesting, you know, I, I um, when you feel that kind of energy in the room, it's an interesting experience. When you come out and you see an audience already excited to see the work that you're doing, it, it kind of reinvigorates you. You know, I think The X-Files was always a very cinematic television series. Honestly, from the early days of the show, I thought this would be a natural. You know, when the show ends after five seasons, I thought we could do movies. So you think that uh, Mr. Chirp was murdered? Well, certainly would appear that way, but the question is how. How does it feel stepping into the iconic shoes of Maxwell Smart? A little bit daunting. I mean, uh, Don Adams, as you said, he's, he's, it's an iconic character, and he was so fantastic as Maxwell Smart. You have underestimated me and the element of surprise! So we did the, the first, what they call the teaser trailer, and my character is rising up out of a phone booth, and we were a little worried at first that kids wouldn't even know what a phone booth is. Like, what, what is that thing that said telephone on it? Everyone seems really excited about all the films that are here, but excited about the film Shutter, which is a psychological thriller slash horror movie. Yeah, I actually saw in the trailer there was a scene with uh, Joshua Jackson and a very long tongue. I know, it's kind of sexual in a really <laughs> distressing, horrible sort of way. <laughs> Comics, movies, stormtroopers, WonderCon has it all. And you know what? There's nothing like being part of the madness. Oh, the return of the X-Files on the horizon. Now might be a good time to remind you that uh, the truth is out there. I'll be back tomorrow to bring you more from the floor of WonderCon and three new comic reviews. Yeah, yeah. See you guys then. Yeah. Thank you, Blair. Thank you. Now, if you like, uh, well, if you like women who are ninjas, mm -hmm. join the club. March 8th, G4 brings you the women of Ninja Warrior. Kicking off the night is an exclusive behind-the-scenes look, followed by four brand new Women of Ninja Warrior episodes. We'll get entry for the very first time to course planning and get a VIP pass to a special training camp where Ninja Warrior All-Stars train hopefuls on how to beat the most diabolical course ever created. Catch the fearless females hitting the course March 8th, only on G4. And where should they go? They should go to G4TV.com slash Ninja Warrior if they want info and updates. Stay tuned, everybody, especially if you chose the wrong side of the Ooh, format war. Yeah, Chris Gore has got the titles that are must-haves for your collection as you start your new life with Blu-ray. It's coming up next, everybody, on DVD Tuesday. Tuesday. Video games are evolving. And now... So are we. Introducing X-Play, next, only on G4. Welcome back. Now that the format war is over and all of you whiners have sucked it up, Chris Gore is here with three, three Blu-ray must-haves to start off your high-def collection. It is DV Tuesday. Welcome back, Chris. Let's go! I'm here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right before we went on, Kevin was standing here, and we hear our stage manager, Kevin, go away! Get Chris on. I That's what people want to hear. Love to hear that. Okay, so uh, you have something different for us today. Where there's no rent or buy or pass. Right. It's just these are three things you have to have in your Blu-ray collection. So what's first? Absolutely. Let's start with The Rock. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, this this movie, uh, it's it's just it's one of those Michael Bay films that mm-hmm. this is why people became a fan of Michael Bay. This mm-hmm. is right after Nicolas Cage also uh, he won the Oscar, of course, yeah. for Leaving Las Vegas. Want to do something a little bit different, um, and it's great because it's got uh, so many good special features on it. It's like one of the one things that Vanessa Marcel did, like uh, in the movie world, because she went back to TV right after this, pretty uh, much. Do you I, know Vanessa I, Marcel? I didn't know she was the hot was... brunette in this movie. Uh, you know what? I was not paying attention. I was playing attention to <laughs> action in this film. Okay, well, The Rock back in the in the day was considered a must have on DVD when it was released in 97. So does the Blu-ray version carry on that tradition of a must, like a definite, definite must have? Absolutely. Uh, mostly because of the special features and also seeing this, I mean, the, the picture quality is so amazing. And the commentary on it is one of my favorites. I mean, they, they really went all out on the commentary yeah. with Nicolas Cage talking about how he created the character and, um, you know, Michael Bay telling really, I don't know, I've heard he's like one of the nicest guys on the set. I'm this sure is what he I is. About Michael Bay. I'm sure he is. I've heard that same thing too. So, uh, moving on what is next what's next is we have the spider-man trilogy mm-hmm. now of course you know you probably already bought these films on standard definition but i'll tell you, you in blu-ray. blu-ray they look so good you will not leave your living room i actually saw spider-man 3 on blu-ray it looks ridiculous so incredible in fact spider i mean one of the drawbacks of this collection mm-hmm. unfortunately is the fact that you know uh spider-man 1 and 2 you don't have all the special features yeah. spider-man 3 packed with them so they, I know they did these cutting edge special special features and effects on the movie, and mm-hmm. it holds up in, in Blu-ray, you're saying? Well, I, this is actually what's strange. It, the picture quality is so good mm-hmm. that actually it kind of looks a little, I would say, video game-ish. You know, oh. it's like, like yeah, I, I think that... Uh, you know, too when, perfect? Almost? Well, yeah, it's almost so perfect you can kind of see... That it um, looks like a cartoon. It looks like a cartoon. Okay, yeah. well, well, talking about those features, the, the box set only comes with... Special um, special features and on the third movie. So right, is it right. worth it to get one and two, but only have special features on third? I'll tell you why it's worth it. Because you can get this uh, you can get this for less than fifty bucks. You can pick oh. it up for forty bucks used. I mean, three movies, tons of stuff. It's the Spider Man movies um, on Blu Ray, and they look so good. Yeah, I did watch Spider Man three, and it did look fantastic. So the final one you brought for us? The fi- actually, uh, well, Casino Royale we have, okay. which is to me, this is the best James Bond movie. It is. Of the last three I went years. to see it with, with Kevin. I think that he might disagree with me, but it was fantastic. No, I loved it, it. It's really good. I mean, Daniel Craig, I mean, it just he, he blew everyone away. That opening chase sequence through the construction site is so spectacular. And, you know, they, they really, they, they packed a lot of stuff under this. But I will say this, just about the Blu-ray mm-hmm. format, is I really think they need to take some of the good ideas that HD yeah. DVD had, such as combo format, uh-huh. um, things like the in-movie experience, and also things like online features, which Blu-ray hasn't integrated. I want to see those well, come on to Blu-ray. Well, quickly, I want to ask you, I, I know they always remaster the Bond films, and so do you think Sony's holding back because they're just going to put this out, and then later on, they're going to give you a remastered version later, so this is a, as good as, as it should be? Yes, but do what I do. I just upgrade. You know, if a better edition comes out, I take it, I trade it in for used, and then I get the new one. So right. it's not going to stop me from getting it because it's, I mean, it, it's something you just, you got to have. Well, we've got uh, a little bit of time here, 45 seconds on the clock for Rapid seconds. Fire. Rapid Fire. Go! For, uh, th- you've got to see, you got to see Edward Scissorhands. Yes! It's great. Great, great. Can I have that? Yeah, uh, no, it's actually mine. I brought this <laughs> in, but it's John, John Depp's one of his best performances. Also, mine. Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor. You have to pick up this stuff. In fact, Rock Band, that, that Nine Inch Nails yeah. pack, picked it up five star. Right. It's great. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There's three different editions of the movie on here, including the special edition of the movie and the, you know, the, the original edition and the director's cut. Also, you've got Corpse Bride. It's so romantic, but kind of not. Actually. Oh, you got two Tim Burton kinda movies not. in there, huh? Yeah, well, I love Tim Burton. And then my favorite, and you know yeah. what? Ladies love this. It's Fireplace. What is that? I'm wow. gonna be. I'm gonna oh be sitting. I'm gonna be sitting by my DVD player you tonight. Know, that is something. Kevin is gonna get. I know it. All right. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. Hey, you got to them all. Good job, for Thanks. four. You guys. Thank, Thank you. Us for Chris. You guys are welcome. We bring them to you and you are welcome. Visit filmthreat.com for more of Chris's great picks. Right now, let's go back over to Kevin who's managed to haul a giant bucket of fail yeah. into the studio all by himself. And by the way, Blu-ray or not, uh, Daniel Craig, this generation, Steve McQueen. I just yes! want you to know it. Yes! Thank you. Yes, I think now, so too. Here at Attack of the Show, we are willing to stick our hands into the buckets of sewage that the internet spews out so that we can bring you the hidden treasures. Sadly, most of the time we end up with, well, the sewage we started with. We actually call it an epic fail, and today, it features a Lindsay Lohan spoof. I need some water for my water bottle. These flowers smell like fake flowers. I really want some water. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! What's her name? Lindsay Lohan. 
the girl who tried to look like Madonna? It's Marilyn Monroe. And she... Marilyn. Marilyn. I'm... She was before Madonna. When are our boot pictures coming? I'm not Lindsay Lohan being naked. It's not dirty like Playboy. It's, it's art. Does my vagina look classy? I'm Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay, we're shooting. I was driving. I wasn't driving. Well, at least, no? at least, no. Yeah. no. Yeah, no. I mean, she didn't have to, you know, look at, you know, we don't have to look at those droopy boobies at all. See, for me, I think boobs. more boobs may have actually saved that from the jaws of fail. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Folks, coming up tomorrow on an all-new attack of the show, we're going to find out if we like turtles and Gadgetron. Right, we're looking at the turtle wireless watch phone. Yes, we do like turtles. Uh, plus, Blair continues her WonderCon coverage and reviews badass comics and a special WonderCon version of Fresh. Then on Thursday, your childhood sucked. Captain Power and the soldiers of the future undergo our expert scrutiny, and I promise I won't cheat this time. If there's any <laughs> cheating to be had, I promise, Mr. Good, Ferreira. thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry I cheated. That is okay. That's okay. I'm embarrassed. You should be. Go to g4tv.com slash AOTS for all things you saw today and more. Stick around, folks. X-Play is up next. But in the meantime, Olivia, I think mm -hmm. because you did apologize for cheating, you deserve yes. a reward. Do you not? What is that? Bring out the pies! What? what? Yeah. What? Somebody's going to unbutton the pants tomorrow. Hi. Look at that. You've worked hard for it. Yeah. yeah. Get in there. You wanna... I don't like this kind of Okay, pie. well, go for this pie. There's yeah. plenty of pies, so you know, there's no use in trying. Get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Who's going to run on the treadmill, huh? Who's going to do some Pilates? Anybody else? She'll be unbuttoning tomorrow. I promise. I'm not here tomorrow.